Hello and welcome to Space Shark Teaches. I'm Sean from Space Shark Studios and I'm here to teach you GD Script in Godot 3.1. Let's get started. In this lesson, we are going to get animated. So we're actually going to be starting with animating your platforms. So how would we go about doing that? Well, we're going to be using animated sprites. But before any of that, we need to make some animated backgrounds. So to start with, we have industrial platform. What we want to do is rename industrial platform to industrial platform dash one to show that that's the first frame and select it and press control D to duplicate it and make platform two. Right click show in file manager and now we have let's go ahead and turn that off make this large so here we have one here we have two we want to edit this and what we're actually going to do is make it look like the wires are turning on and off so i will do that real quick go through if you have a different editing software you can always use that but this seems to work well enough when it comes to pixel art especially since we're just making a small update save that and now you can see there is the turned off and turned on now let's start actually updating our platforms so we go into scenes and we can double click platform to bring this up. You remember this is what we made last time. Instead of sprite, we are going to be using add child node, animated sprite. But as you can see, we have a little warning and it says a sprite frames resource must be created or set in the frames property. So we've seen this before when we were dealing with collision shapes. What this means is that we need to go over here frames and then new sprite frames. And then we can click on it and it will open up our animation window. So we can call this platform and we are going to drag in one Two. And then we can go ahead and shrink this here. Now to see what this looks like, over here in the inspector, or the yeah, in the inspector, you can click on for playing and it will start the animation for you. As you can see, that's way too fast. So let's turn that down to two. That looks like it should be better. The problem though is we don't have the same uh, regions in this. So we need to go ahead and do this the old school way, which means turn this back on, hide the sprite, and we are going to press Control D. I press W to go to this, or to the movement tool, and just make duplicates until we get pretty close to the collision shape and then we can resize the collision shape we can go ahead and delete the old sprite if we go over here we can see the platforms are a little more narrow than they were but that's because we went ahead and made this collision shape one smaller if we wanted to we could move these over by one duplicate it and now you can see they're the same they're the right size again if we press play however nothing's happening you don't see any animations that's because we turned it off so select all of the animated sprites make sure frame is zero so they're the same and click playing and now they're animating press play and all of a sudden our platforms are animating again awesome 
So we can go ahead and scale them to make them look a little bit nicer if we want, but overall we can just leave them as they are right now. As you can see though, it didn't apply to long platform and that's because long platform is still using Sprite. So let's go ahead and repeat the process just to make sure that we know what we're doing. So plus animated Sprite. You can't do, you can't load because we don't have one saved. So you have to create a new Sprite frames. Click on it to bring it up in here. And then you drag these two in. As you can see, this is still too big. So we resize it. Set the speed down to the bottom to two. Make sure loop is on. And then set playing to true. Now we actually don't want to have this to true until we have made all of our duplicates. So let's go ahead, duplicate and move, move. Move all these over by one, and then we can duplicate the whole stack actually and move it over. We can delete the old sprite and we can move this down to the bottom so we can make sure that our collider is lining up. And now, once again, you just have to select all of the animated sprites and set them to play. Once we save it, in main, you can see now that everything is flashing, but it's flashing out of order. Why is that? So that is because the start frame right here needs to be zero. And now everything is flashing together and you can tell what the floor is. And that was it. You can animate the ball if you want this way. You can animate the background. As long as you have an animated sprite, this works. In the next lesson, we're going to start animating the player, which is a little bit more difficult, and we're actually going to be scripting it. So, see you then. Thank you for watching Space Shark Teaches. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe to the channel, and remember to click the bell to always stay up to date. Please also join us on our Discord, linked in the comments, and check out our other videos if you ever want to see what else we've been up to. Thanks again for watching, and we can't wait to see what you make.